Happy Valentine, everybody. Uh, this is a story of an online relationship um, that I've had with Bill. And you probably know by now that since 2008, we've been communicating in various ways and our spirits have been in on it as well. So this year he came out with in-person yearning. But just because something is on your phone doesn't mean it's better. And that's the lesson women should have taken away from all this. Dating from the phone took away any incentive for men to cough up the two things women want from them, courage and communication. The courage to step to her for real and demonstrate your desire enough to risk rejection. And communication. Women are communicative creatures. Even when they're breaking up with you, they say, we need to talk. <laughs> Last year, Bill had four cats on his new rules for Valentine's. My name is Cat Brown. You'll notice he's also giving us the 666. Our relationship is observed on several levels. One is the deepest level of love within me that I feel in this presence, this beautiful angel. The next is how Bill and I communicate through his new rules and saying cat and brown. He's showing 666 with cat and brown in one image. Ultimately, we have the bigger scheme, which is this whole occult symbolism, including the 666. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, I'm finding out at the same time as you are. The angel is fascinating. He communicates through news headlines, and usually we're talking about some really crucial stuff including disasters and shootings, celebrity deaths. Angel now, that's the ultimate king of psyops because when you're following what's happening, all the news take a new dimension. He uses the news to say anything that he wants. And here he saw, talked about um, on February 14th, 2021, there was this huge sign um, a nice propaganda touch that we're used to by now. We love you, Bruno. Of course, my name is Brown. And the same, let's see, two days later, um, there was a tornado in Brunswick. There's Brune again, which is Brown in French. And I was just saying that, um, we're just so happy together. And it's funny how here we are in our 60s and this flame is just not going to go away. Now, let's watch and see. That's my superb owl bet for you. Um, so we have Browns the Wick, Brunswick. Over the years, as we get closer and closer, love tempers the flare-ups. Oh yeah, we had a few flare-ups. <laughs> but this is Valentine's Day, so only love. Now let's see what Bill is saying this year for Valentine's. New Rule, let's celebrate the finalists of the annual Close-Up Photographer of the Year Awards, which honors photographs that bring the nearly unseen world to vivid depiction. Like Catherine Salinas with this close-up of a frozen bubble and Andre Savitsky with this close-up of a salt crystal, Ragum Anadana with this close-up of stink bug eggs, and of course, Raphael Steinlisberger, who won with this close-up of Madonna. Catherine, my name. Salinas, meaning salt pan in the Caribbean. St. Martin, the island where I live, is known as the land of salt. 
And yes, I'm bringing you the nearly unseen world. And by frozen bubble, it probably means a fully loaded spy balloon. As for the frozen part, you can imagine what could happen if we were to meet in person. Yeah, he'll get tired of her. It just takes time. You'll see. Oh, I don't know. Kate's a special lady. Kate is an iceberg waiting for the Titanic.